uh, March 29, 2015, this male, not neutered, proper spaniel, 13 years old, came in six days ago with the ears full of blood and pus and inf inflammation and very smelly. It smells like uh, vinegar. Uh, the owner left it with some, some relatives or friends and they, they didn't uh, take care of it. So now after treatment, which includes ear irrigation and antibiotics, you can see that the inflammation is gone, although there's still some pain, uh, a bit of pain. And then uh, this side, there's still some pain. Now I will check the, we have irrigated the ears two times. One time using a sedation, because it's very, uh, hold here, hold, hold here, hold here. Because it's very difficult to clean the ears if you don't sedate the dog. But some vets they do it, but I, I don't think uh, it's so easy as that. So what, what I did was two days ago, go under sedation and clean up the ears, and then clean up here, so you have to clean you have to clean the whole surface as well. You don't just put you don't just put the the ear ointment here and you, you don't uh, clean up the whole area because those are the bacteria and this bacteria will spread again. Some of them are yeast and fungus. So now you can see there's no inflammation but it's not cured yet. The dog is going home now. Look at this ear. This ear it's not inflamed and you can hold the mouth here. And uh, I checked I check this ear. We had, we had uh, irrigated yesterday. It's not so painful now. And there's no more blood and uh, pus. This is the ear ointment, the yellow. So the dog is on the way to recovery. The, the owner still have to put the ear drops two times, uh, three times a, a week. And the owner has to clean up the side also. So the dog is going home now with antibiotics. Uh, otitis external, parulent, due to a lack of uh, care grooming. Okay.